This is a quick how-to on doing a simple Bondo repair. Got a Toyota Prius here with a crack in the bumper and a little bit of scuff marks across the edge. So what we're going to be doing is filling that crack in, which I've filled it in with a two-part epoxy. And I've sanded it down with a 60 grit sandpaper and we will mix up some Bondo. Bondo is a simple two-part filler. We'll put about an inch of blue catalyst onto a about a golf ball size amount and mix the two thoroughly. Once the Bondo has been mixed up you can apply it to the car in a likewise pattern and you'll want it to cure for about 15 to 20 minutes before it's sandable. This one's already been cured and it's about ready to sand. And you'll go over it with about a 60 grit sandpaper. Here's an assortment pack. As you can see, the sandpaper is coarse to fine. This is a 80 grit sandpaper. Runs all the way down to a 600 grit, which is almost as fine as paper. They make 1,000 and 1,500 grit papers. But from what I've found is this is actually about as best you're ever gonna need unless you're getting into some fine clear coat finishes. But for this application, this will work just fine. We'll actually start with a really heavy 60 grit to take down the first finish of that Bondo. And then we'll come in with probably this 180, which is wet or dry sandpaper. Okay, now you can see that this is pretty heavy here. Like right here, it's pretty heavy. This 60 grit, will actually fill up in the paper a little bit, but it'll take it down, take the bulk of it down. And you actually, you want to take it down until it feathers into the actual paint, until it's actually smooth with the paint. Right here, you've still got a little bit of an edge. You'll want to feather that until it's smooth. And this is what you're looking for. Smooth feathered edge back into your paint. And then you can see where it's very coarse, very rough. We'll go back over with some fine grit sandpaper and fill spots like this, divots, low areas, and smooth it out completely. I like to take the paper off of the electric sander and just go over. You can see some of those areas that are hard to get to and just hand sand those areas. The next step, glazing putty. This stuff is like a very fine mud almost. It's like a very fine, fine dirt. And it'll actually fill in all these little bitty crevices you can see. little bitty fine spots and then you can see the porous areas like so it'll actually fill very well you'll do that across the whole thing this stuff dries extremely quick so as soon as you fill it in keep it moving and don't stop because it'll be dry before you even finish your round and if you keep going back over it, it'll clump up really quick. So you got to keep moving this stuff very quickly. And don't stop or second guess yourself. Once it's been glazed, you're almost done. The next step is letting it dry. You can see this is still wet as opposed to this is dry. When it's all completely dry, I wait about 10 minutes and then we'll wet sand it with a 400 grit sandpaper. Wet sanding is actually taking this paper, dipping it in water, and keeping the area wet while sanding.
and you want to keep doing this pattern until it's smooth and all the fine hairlines have been removed until it's completely flush you can run your finger over it like glass and then the final step will be taking 600 grit sandpaper which is very very fine and going over it as well when it's all finished and smoothed out all the low spots will be filled with the glazing putty spider webbing has been filled in and all the low areas this just so happens to be red primer which is kind of convenient because it's a red car and you'll just lightly apply the primer and we'll let it dry and go back over and wet sand it with 600 grit sandpaper turn the fan on and let it dry okay well the paint is on there I just rattle canned it on it is not perfect but hey it does pretty good for a quick and easy rattle can job you can see a little bit of overspray but polish it out get a little dirt on it and looks a lot better than it did